Hi guys and welcome back to my fourth video now on the HP Spectre X360 15 inch and uh, new to early 2020. I've done a few reviews, go and check them out if you haven't seen them. Uh, I've had a few questions and today I'm going to try and answer queries about the battery. So you can see here it's 2pm and the battery is fully charged. It's still plugged in, I'm going to disconnect it, we'll see how we get on today. I have the 4K ultra high definition LED screen, not the OLED screen. They're the two versions that I know of it that are on the market at the moment. Um, I picked this one because the battery is supposed to be a little bit better. So let's just see how much we can get out of this one today. It's full brightness. I'm going to make sure that the screen does not go off anytime today. Whilst doing this experiment, so I'm just going to switch everything to never, make sure it doesn't sleep. So it will be displaying all day until the battery runs out. Here's the tilt pen that comes with uh, this model, plugging it in, giving it a charge. So not only is the battery not plugged in, it's also charging my pen. It's orange at the top, which means it needs charged. If you need to pause any time here to have a look at the uh, instructions that came with the pen, feel free. I don't know how much you're going to be able to read of that. Uh, I am currently making a uh, video on the pen, uh, that's been a question some people have asked, so that's what I'm doing today whilst uh, using my laptop and we'll see how it gets on without being plugged into the wall today. So first thing I did was download Concepts, which is a little drawing app from the Microsoft Store. Never really heard of it, just googled top five whiteboards or something and that came up, played around with that for a little while and then tried Photoshop. Photoshop. It's a big app, took quite a long time to install. I think it took about five minutes to load actually. The fan came on a little bit for a couple of minutes. Um, the fan is not noisy. I don't think it's noisy at all. Uh, I think it copes quite well and even when the fans are on it doesn't feel like the machine is that hot and they don't stay on for too long which is another good thing. So I played around on Photoshop for a little while until this weird thing happened. Not sure if that's a graphics issue or just loading issue or whether it's Photoshop or not, but it was enough for me to lose interest anyway. So I had a quick check of my pen and ink settings and noticed I can switch it to left-handed, so I'm gonna give that a try. And I moved over to Microsoft Windows to draw some lines for my next video, hopefully. I have seen some of the reviews on this pen and some people saying it's absolutely awful. I've never had an experience with a pen like this before so I'm not sure what it's supposed to do but to me it seemed to do what I thought it was meant to do. I'm starting those lines there pressing lightly and then pressing down harder as as I go. So the computer was used for doodling, researching, downloading, uh, YouTube, loads of YouTube. What else have I done today? I have, uh, oh, I went on to Facebook because apparently I won a prize in the Tombola and I had to claim that. I charged the talk pen. I charged my mobile phone for half an hour from the laptop. Uh, I had my phone synced to the laptop. Um, so it was receiving all my WhatsApp messages and what have you. Um, I, then went on to download some video software, video pad, and I transferred 16 gigabytes worth of files from my phone to the laptop via the Thunderbolt port. I uh, did a little bit of messing around on the video pad and tried to learn that, which is going to be a new skill for me. I then spent a whole bunch of time sorting out my OneDrive and my Samsung Drive and my Google Drive, all my different cloud apps. It was a bit of a faff. And here we have it, 1725, 48% battery power. That's the video shop thing that I downloaded. So I played around on that for quite a while, chopping and changing photos, switching directions because half my videos had recorded upside down. And I must have been having a lot of fun because before I knew it, it was asking for some juice, which I wouldn't give it. And eventually at about 5% it switched itself off. Summarizing all that, it's five hours of battery time whilst putting it through its paces, downloading, uploading, 
uh, moving big files, browsing, watching videos, some rendering, some charging, speakers playing at around 50% and screen on full brightness. Obviously this was a bit of an experiment. I wouldn't normally use my laptop in this way and I'd probably normally get around about 10, 11, maximum 12 hours before I'd need to plug it in. So thanks again guys for watching and again I hope this has been helpful to you guys in making your decisions.